Hi, um, this is to introduce to you the course on social movements, which is proposed to be offered at IIM Bengaluru. Um, this course uh, has been uh, taught at IIM Ahmedabad four times, uh, most recently um, in two sections of over 70 students and then at IIM Indore also. Um, this course essentially talks about uh, um, social movements, movements where a section of society has some grievance and it is uh, organizing a movement either against the government or against a dominant uh, ideology mindset prevalent in the society. Um, a good example is the farmers movement which is going on. Um, it has uh, attracted the attention internationally and the farmers are saying that the laws which have been made by the government are anti-farmer and therefore have been protesting on the street um, you know for for uh, more than uh, a few months <clears throat> on the other hand uh, the government is trying to defend the laws and uh, is engaged in the negotiation with the farmers is trying its best to end the movement uh, but uh, the movement is getting stronger day by day. So uh, this course will try to understand such movements and uh, among the different movements that we will study, there will be movements which are related to natural resources, uh, the farmers movement, the, the uh, tribal movement, the um, environment movement <clears throat> are such movements. We will be talking about movements where there is discrimination against uh, uh, a section of society. So the Dalit rights movement, women's rights movement are such movements. Uh, movements where we, we um, fight against the established norms of society. Uh, for example, the LGBTIQA uh, community movement uh, for their rights is one such movement. We will also be discussing the human rights movements, both at the community level and at the individual level. So you have big communities like the Palestinians, the Tibetans fighting for their autonomy against powerful forces. And then we have movements, uh, you know, of individuals, for example, number of intellectuals, professors, lawyers, activists, um, journalists are in jail in India under the uh, Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Um, they claim that they are innocent. Uh, the government says they are anti-national and uh, <clears throat> they, they are in jail without any uh, you know, trial going on for, for more than two years. For, for some of them, it is now three years. So uh, questions whether somebody can be indefinitely put in jail um, without any trial and bail, um, you know, will be considered as part of this. Uh, then uh, we have movements which uh, uh, have to deal with with wrong kind of policies. So you have economic policies of globalization, privatization, and liberalization implemented, but the result of these policies in most countries uh, has been the increasing gap between the poor and the rich. And it is no surprise that you know uh, people have protested against these policies. So anti-globalization movements and, uh, for example, the farmers movement also is against the uh, corporatization of agriculture, allowing entry of big companies in the farm sector. Um, so uh, movement against corruption, uh, policies which, which uh, uh, encourage corruption rather than curtailing it. Um, so all such movements will be considered, uh, as you can imagine, it is a wide spectrum of movements. As part of the assignments that uh, students will be required to do is uh, one, to interact with um, some activist of your choice and try to learn about the movement that this activist is engaged in and then uh, write up an article of about thousand words in the form of a reflective journal which can be carried by some portal. Uh, you uh, will be required to um, study a corporate social responsibility program of one company of your choice 
and study the efficacy of corporate social responsibility program in the light of the various movements that uh, you will learn about in this course. Uh, you will scan the media, the reports to see uh, what is appearing in the media about uh, social movements. For example, there are movements for democracy going on uh, in Myanmar and, and Thailand presently, um, which are being covered in addition to the farmers movement. So all such movements, um, you can compile the list of such articles and editorials um you uh, will also be required to run an online campaign on any issue of your choice so this will be getting some first hand experience of mobilizing support for some cause um uh, the the course will not have any examination you will essentially be graded on on the various assignments that you will do you will also have to make a 5 minute class presentation in one of the sessions uh, based on a topic of your choice either uh, from the topics to be covered in the course outline or any topic outside of it if you like uh, and uh, most likely it'll be a peer evaluation so students will be evaluating their colleagues in the class and that is how uh, grading will be done um, i believe that this course uh, mm, will play a very important in role in your life uh, because it will give you a new perspective. The objective is to, to make you a sensitive manager so that uh, when you are in a difficult situation, uh, you know, where the corporate interests are pit against the interest of common people, uh, you can uh, take a decision in a sensitive manner uh, so that the rights of people, common people, especially the marginalized, for example, the tribals, are not violated. So this will give you a holistic, holistic perspective on life and, and hopefully will make you a better individual. Um, so I hope that you, that you enroll in this course and this course gets going at IM Bengaluru. Thank you.